It's 1937. A deadly virus is sweeping across Australia. Schools and parks are closed. Children are warned to wash their hands and distance themselves from other people. And police are stopping people at state borders. But it wasn't COVID that had everybody so worried back then. It was a disease called polio. Polio, or poliomyelitis, is a serious infectious disease that spreads really easily, basically through any kind of human contact. And while symptoms start off kind of like the flu, they can quickly become much worse. Polio can cause people to become paralysed, losing the ability to move certain limbs, and in some cases, breathe. And it mostly affects kids. Polio has existed for a long, long time. In fact, there are ancient Egyptian images that appear to show its effects. Although it wasn't properly described as a disease until 1789. And as people started to travel more, so did polio. By the start of the 20th century, polio was one of the most feared diseases in the whole world. By the 1950s, polio was killing or paralysing more than half a million people around the world every year. But then, in 1955, everything changed when an American scientist named Dr Jonas Salk developed the first successful polio vaccine. While it couldn't cure the disease, it could prevent it, and he worked to make sure everyone could access it. Who owns the patent on this vaccine? Well, the people, I would say. There is no patent. This is... Could you patent the sun? <laughs> Here in Australia, kids and adults would line up to get the jab. Ow! Oh, but if it keeps you free from polio, it's worth it. And while there was another outbreak in the 60s, polio became less and less common. Around the world, governments and organisations worked to vaccinate as many people as possible. By 1994, polio had been eliminated from the Americas. By 2000, Australia was declared polio-free. And as of August this year, Afghanistan and Pakistan are the only two countries where cases regularly appear. Polio is seen as one of the world's biggest success stories when it comes to vaccines. But recently, a lot of experts were really worried when polio appeared in Gaza. The polio virus has been detected in wastewater samples. It's the first time polio has been detected there in 25 years. While experts aren't exactly sure how it got there, they say the war has created the perfect conditions for a virus like this to spread. People just don't know where to go. If you see the humanitarian area, if you see the Khan Yunis, Mawasi area, you can barely even see the sand of the floor anymore. It is just packed, shelter to shelter. The outbreak had enough people worried that the Israeli military and Hamas agreed to pause fighting so that 640,000 children in Gaza could be vaccinated. The UN says kids here in Gaza are still facing huge threats to their health and safety. But they say so far, the vaccination campaign has been a success. The polio pauses are a rare ray of hope and humanity in the cascades of horror that we have seen in Gaza. Here and around the world, health authorities will keep fighting polio in the hope that one day it will be gone for good.